In this video, I want to introduce the human geometry component in VSP. And this is an exceptionally useful and powerful and interesting component because all you're really adjusting is a linear skeleton underneath this mesh that's attached to the various points. Now, if we click on this human geometry, you'll see that we have a number of anthropometric and pose settings. So you can choose the units that you model your person in. You can choose the mass units. You can change between male and female anthropometric settings. And this is all based on the statistical models between, say, a 5% and a 95% human. So things like your stature can be adjusted, a percent stature based on that 5 to 95%. Your body mass index can be changed, the mass itself. And you can automatically compute the density, if you like, which will automatically adjust this value in your mass properties tab. You can also adjust the person's age, which is going to adjust their standing posture and the way that their body is put together. You can adjust the ratio of the torso to the length. You can adjust pose and quickly switch between sitting or standing positions. So there are a number of really interesting and useful ways to manipulate this body. And what's really great about this component is that this is a watertight mesh. So if you want to, you can run something like a component geometry analysis, and it will compute the mass, the area, the volume, etc. for this component. You can do a CFD mesh. You can run VSP arrow on this thing if you want in panel mode and see what the aerodynamic characteristics are. It may not be very accurate, but it will successfully run. And you can do parasite drag analysis. There are a number of things that you can do with this, and it's such an interesting and powerful tool. Now, another thing that you can do, because this is a watertight mesh, is go to File and Export, dump out an STL, and 3D print this representative human if you want to. But again, because this is at its core just a skeleton with a mesh wrapped around it, it's very fast. So notice that if I start adjusting these sliders, you get a reaction in real time in the screen. There's no lag, particularly for a single component. Now in Transform, if you want, you can turn on Symmetry, and you can make multiple copies, either axially or along a plane, and you can reflect these people. And notice that even with eight of these in space, I can come in and adjust these values, and it's still in real time. So if you take these and say you want to use this person as a stand-in for your mass properties in a fuselage layout or a cabin layout, for example, you can quickly position these people, put them in their seats, and then copy them. And you have that many people quickly adjustable and parameterized in such a way that you can run mass properties, aerodynamic analysis, etc. So it's an exceptionally useful and interesting uh, component in VSP. I really encourage you to come in and just flex around with some of these settings, play with them, see what it can do, and see how powerful this component is.